Kristen. Uh, pada saya ni, uh, saya nak kasih tahu pula bahawasanya saya ni accident lah. You just saw an individual with something called a bifrontal craniectomy. Basically what that means is that the neurosurgeons went in and they removed the front part of his skull on both sides. So let me show you exactly what we would see as surgeons. Now of course we're not going to remove the entire calvarium, but you would see the majority of the frontal component of the brain. And we would need this for several different reasons. One of the most common reasons why we would need to decompress the skull is because the person may have an increased intracranial pressure. For example, a severe traumatic brain injury where somebody hits the front part of their head could actually cause a significant amount of swelling inside of the brain and require a decompression. Otherwise, if it was just a completely closed system and the skull was not removed, the brain would be pressing up against the skull and it would actually be very detrimental to the person's life. Now, it could also be done for other reasons including a tumor resection. Sometimes if there is a very severe tumor in the front, which may have involved the frontal component of the skull, we might need to remove the skull and keep it off and also remove the brain tumor while we're there. Of course, if that was the case, we would typically have to find an alternative to replace the skull for purposes of cosmesis and for protection.